Good morning students. Today we are going to start with the last chapter of our workbook that is the story of William Tell. Students, let us see what is the unseen passage about. Let us read and understand this comprehension or this story and let's answer the questions given after this passage or the story. Many years ago, Switzerland was ruled by a tyrant called Gessler. Gessler was a cruel man and all the people were unhappy. Now students, what happened? Many years ago, Switzerland is a country. Understood? Switzerland was ruled by a tyrant. Tyrant means students, it is a cruel ruler. Understood? Tyrant means cruel ruler. So, what was his name? His name was Gessler. He was a cruel man and all the people were unhappy. Understood? The people of his kingdom or you can say subjects. His subjects were unhappy. Subjects means pra praja. Got it? Now let us see. What was the reason of their unhappiness? One day, Gessler set up a tall pole in the town square and put his cap on the top. Then he ordered that every man who came into the town should bow down before it. But one man, William Tell, would not do this. He would not bow down to Gessler. Now, what happened? Gessler just set up a tall pole in the town square. Square means Choraha. Understood? On a town square. Then, what happened? And on the top of that pole, he just put on his cap and he ordered every man of the town to bow before it. Understood? But there was a man whose name was William Tell. He was not ready to bow his head before Gessler's cap. Understood? When Gessler heard of this, he was very angry. He was afraid that other men, other men would disobey and that soon the whole country would rebel against him. So he decided to punish this man. Now students, what happened? When Gessler heard that there is a man called William Tell, he is not ready to obey him. He thought that if this man is not going to obey him, the other men will also disobey him later or sooner. Understood? So, and if all the men will disobey him, what will happen? They would rebel against him. Rebel means fight against the cruel ruler. He thought that one day they all are going to fight against him. So what did he do? He decided to punish this man. This man means who is he? He is William Tell. William Tell was a famous hunter. One Sorry, no one could shoot with bow and arrow as well as he. Now see, William Tell was a famous hunter. He was a good shooter and no one could shoot bow, bow and arrow as well as he. Means... No one 
was a good shooter in comparison to him. Gessler knew this and so he thought a cruel plan to use the hunter's own skill to punish him. Now what happened? Gessler very well knew this that William Tell is a good shooter. So he thought of a cruel plan. Understood? What was that cruel plan students? The cruel plan was just to punish the hunter by his own skill. That means by using his own skill. He ordered Tell's little boy to stand in the town square with an apple on his head. He then ordered Tell to shoot the apple. Now what happened? Gessler asked or Gessler ordered Tell's little son to stand in the town square with an apple on his head and he ordered Tell to shoot the apple. Got it students? Tell begged the tyrant not to make him do this. When, what if the boy moved? What if the bowman's hand trembled? Now, Tell just begged, understood, the tyrant, that is the Gessler, not to make him do this. Understood? Because he was fearing, he was afraid that what will happen if the boy or his son will move. Understood? Or what will happen if his own hand. Understood, students? If his own hand, bow men means the man who shoots with bow and arrow. He is called the bowman. So, he just thought what will happen if his own hand will tremble. Tremble means shaking slightly with fear. Understood? So, let us see what happens further in the story. Don't make me hurt my boy. He said, now William Tell just begged to Gessler that don't make me hurt my boy. Quite, said Gessler. You must hit the apple with your own arrow. If you fail, your boy shall be punished. Now, see the cunningness of Gessler, how cruel he is and how cunning he is. He is, he said that you must hit the apple with your, uh, with your one arrow. But, and if you fail, then your son or your boy will be punished. Understood, students? W without another word, Tell fitted the arrow to his bow, he took aim and let it fly. Now what happened? Tell was, fe uh, was feeling scared, so he obeyed to the Gessler word, uh, Gessler's word, understood, or he obeyed the Gessler's order and he fitted his arrow to his bow and he took aim and he let the arrow go. The boy stood firm. Firm means without moving. Understood? Standing at one place without moving. That is firm. Firm student has different meanings. Understood? Form means self-determined also. Form means stood uh, 
without moving so here the form word means stood without moving he was not afraid for he had full faith on in his father's skill now tells son was not at all afraid because he had full faith in his father's skill he knew that his father is having a talent and he would not be hurted understood so he stood firm without moving the arrow this whistled through the air it pierced the apple without touching the boy the people shouted with joy now what happened the arrow whistled through the air means the arrow went into the air and made a hole in the apple understood without hurting the boy students parsing means aar paar chhed kar dena understood so it made a hole in the apple without hurting his son what happened the people those who were watching him or those those who were watching all whatever was happening they shouted with joy as tell turned away from the place an arrow which he had hidden under his coat dropped to the ground now what happened as william tell turned away after doing his job after doing his work what happened an arrow that he had hidden under his coat dropped on the ground one arrow he had hidden under his coat or in his coat fellow cried gesler what is the meaning of the second arrow tyrant said tell this arrow was for your heart if i had hurt my child now students just pay attention to the last line and the answer of tell now gesler asked what was the meaning of the second arrow so tell said second arrow i kept for your heart in case i would have hurt it my child and my i would have killed if i had if i would have killed my child then i would have surely used the second arrow to just kill you that means for your heart that is for gesler's heart but since his child was safe so second arrow that gesler had hidden in his coat he didn't use that arrow understood students now let us see the questions <clears throat> given under this passage <clears throat> what did gesler want the people to do gesler wanted every man to bow before his cap what did william tell refuse to do as gesler ordered william tell refused to follow gesler's order because he was a tyrant william tell refused to bow to gesler's cap this made gesler angry because there are three options given to you let us see which option is a correct one he thought people would laugh at him he was afraid of what people would think of him he was afraid 
others would follow tells example so students third option is your correct option understood that is william tell refused to go to gessler's cap this made gessler angry because he was afraid others would not follow others would follow tells example Un understood students gessler thought that other people will have the courage to just follow whatever tell was doing or whatever tell was tell asked them to do that is they will all try to become like tell understood they will have the courage just to go against gessler as tell is doing understood students so your last option is a correct option now students come to the next question what punishment did gessler order gessler ordered tell to shoot the apple placed on his son's head why did he choose this punishment gessler chose this punishment because he knew that tell was a good shooter and now his strength would be his weakness understood students now in this answer i would like to explain you once again students why did he choose this punishment that means why did gessler choose this kind of punishment gessler chose this kind of punishment because he knew that tell was a good shooter and now tells strength that means tells strength is his son understood will become his weakness understood students in hindi i would like to explain this line his strength his strength would become his weakness means his strength will become his weakness that is jo uski shakti hai wahi uski kamzori banegi understood that is his son is his strength he is going to become tells weakness so that is why he chose this kind of punishment that is gessler chose this kind of punishment now students come to the sixth question what would gessler do if tell refused to do as he was told if tell refused to follow his order then gessler would punish his son why did tell hide the second arrow under the coat tell hid a second arrow under his coat to kill gessler if he failed to shoot the apple understood students as it was very well told in the passage also or in the story also now learn words students there are some words clues given to you that is you have to fill here in these boxes across and down across means like this and down means like this coming down and across is this so now let us see first one a cruel ruler what is a cruel ruler called tyrant so you are going to write it down first you will fill in this a word that is tyrant second is to go against orders that is disobey across across means like this you have to go across understood student so in second you will fill disobey 
dis this obe y obe now the third is an open place in the center of a town now students see the third one the open place in the center of the town that is square s q u a r e square you it is written under the down so you are going to fill it like this down third one square understood students now fourth is lower the head to shoot to show respect fourth one now fourth one is bow understood when someone bows to show the respect lowers the head to show the respect is called bow b o y bow bow means sar jukana understood students then fifth one is william tell hit one under his coat students here what did william tell hit it was an arrow students for fifth one you have to go across that is arrow a r r o w arrow now here students some extra boxes are given to you in this line that is fifth across there are some boxes given to you just after r 1 2 3 4 they are the extra boxes given to you by mistake you are going to just remove these boxes you are going to put a dash that means you are going to cro uh, cross it out and in fifth you are going to go across and you are going to uh, fill the word arrow understood students now after fifth let us see what is the sixth one ability to do something now student sixth one is ability to do something that is skill s k i l l skill now students here also you have to make some extra boxes because where six is written there are uh, here if you will adjust it the uh, the word will not fit here so you have to make an extra box and you have to write six here that is s k i l l uh, sorry s k i l l skill understood so for sixth one you have to draw some extra boxes down and whatever is printed here written six in that they are the extra boxes that you are going to remove that is two from up and two from down now seventh one that is fixed the word will be across and it will be fitted f i t t e d fitted so you are going to put that word across in these boxes f i t t e d fitted now eighth one is to make up your mind that is the eighth one to make up the mind is decided understood so d e c i d e that is decide understood now students um eighth one now i don't uh, now see the seventh one down that is strong belief strong belief is faith f a i t faith you have to go down that is f a i t faith strong belief means faith understood students again i am telling you 
there are some extra boxes given to you that you have to cut that is you have to remove you have to strike them off like where it is written fifth there are one two three four boxes after you have filled r so you are going to put a cr uh, cross or you are going to strike it and the sixth one what it is given you are going to just remove the two boxes given on the top and from down two boxes understood and in between in eighth one across you will write to make up your mind for that you are going to fill a word that is decide so in one of the box c will come across rest all the boxes you are just going to remove it understood now students come to the next page fill in the blanks with the words from the crossword use the correct form of word some words are extra now students you have to use the words from the crossword students what we have filled here this is known as cross words understood using this crossword you are going to fill these words in the blanks given to you understood you have to use the correct form of the word and some extra words are also given those extra words you are going to leave it the king punished those who disobey who disobeyed his order the king punished those who disobeyed his order now the people of the city gathered in the town square to listen to the announcement prince rama lifted a huge bow easily and fitted the arrow to it students should improve their reading skill her faith in god helped her in difficult times now students come to the um, possessive pronouns students whatever we use whatever pronoun we use with in the end of the sentence understood to show the belongingness understood to show the possessiveness that something belongs to a person that word is known as possessive pronoun for example just see the first blank my mother plant some coriander in her vegetable garden in her vegetable garden that means this vegetable garden belongs to mother understood so these are the possessive pronouns got it students these are the words that show that something belongs to the person it shows the belongingness these pronouns show the belongingness we like cold milk but our cousin prefer theirs hot students theirs unka understood s will come unka with this s is having a sense of ka understood so it will be theirs my grandmother loves 
music the piano in our drawing room is hers that means the piano belongs to her so it will be hers h e r s hers unka understood this s is having that ka sense in a sentence understood that means something belongs to someone does your family enjoy going to the picnics at the weekend this book is mine but that one there is hers now students here mine means the book that belongs to me and hers means unka or uska understood that is the but the one there is hers understood students it will not be her it will be hers because s is going to give you a sense of ka that is something that belongs to her students here one extra blank is given to you you have to just strike it out understood now learn to write now students let us see what is a question given to you just for your writing skill it is your birthday next week your mother has agreed to take you and some friends to movie at the weekend write a note to your friend's mother asking if she can come remember to include the following information now students your birthday is next week and your mother has agreed to take some of your friends to the movie at the weekend weekend means at the end of the week now you have to write a note to your friend's mother asking her to join you understood now you have to include some points given to you now let us see what are the points reason for going that means you have to write the reason for going where you are going and when you are going what is the movie and who is going understood now let us write this note hello aunt i hello aunt after that exclamation mark you will put i am mohit shobhit's friend understood that means your name is mohit and your friend's name is shobhit so you will introduce yourself that i am mohit shobhit's friend how are you i am fine and hope the same from your side i am glad to inform you that there is my birthday next week my mother has planned to celebrate my birthday in seven days restaurant there we shall play some games and watch movie i am inviting my other friends also please come with your family and grace my birthday party by your presence now students this is a phrase being used here that is please come with your family and grace my birthday party by your presence understood that means to make the party graceful your presence is required that means your presence will make my party graceful understood students so students this note you can write on your own also you can change the name of yours and your friend understood 
I have given you the example of Mohit and Shohit. You can use some other name in place of these names. Understood students? With this, we are completing our workbook. Students, just do these exercises, go through it and keep your doubts for your life class. Thank you students.